Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to my channel. I'm just zooming into this map, but I'm actually wanting to talk about something else. And that's these castles. Now, you know, I have to now I feel guilty because I didn't prepare his name, but uh, over hit this guy right here uh, at Indy Archaeology. Now I don't know his real name, so I'm sorry about that. Um, we chatted about a couple of things, and it made me understand how difficult it is to get around in the Rashad structure and also in Mauritania in general. Um, I've been studying the Google Maps so much. I know exactly where everything is, but to be honest, I think it's really difficult. If you have to, you have your own car, number one. Number two, you, you can't just be wandering around places sometimes. I think the Rashad definitely is going to be a tourist attraction in the near future, and it's going to take uh, caravans and camping. You're not going to be able to just travel right there. Now, personally, the reason why I say that is because I've been for buying for a long time. I used to do for buying and to get across dirt areas like this can be rather treacherous. Uh, this is one of the castles that was found. Uh, oh gosh, by CM guitar, right? Or actually maybe somebody else. CM guitar found this, I think. And it's definitely a, 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 a very similar fort to the French forts that we saw in the middle of the Rishat structure. This is on one of the rings. It's not in the center ring. It's in this, I think it's the second ring out between the second and third. So these forts were definitely structures that existed. Um, but I would say they existed in the last thousand years or maybe 2000. This one looks like it's only a thousand years old. That's the one that is right next to the, the center of the uh, Rishat center in the middle disc and actually i wanted to say that there's also another thing right next to it that should be examined if someone makes it there it's not even in this picture but it's over here to the left and it's some type of antiquity it's right here uh actually it's not in this picture either. It's just right off there there's the castle right there see i'm i'm dealing with a lot of old pictures i took so this castle is right here and it's pretty easy to find right there uh, and so if you're in the center, you just got to zip right over there. It's, it's about uh, five kilometers. Here's a picture of the whole thing. And I can talk about where another thing is over here. It's directly from the center, about 13 kilometers right here. And it's going to be very difficult to go from the center to here because of the mountains. My suggestion is to uh, come up from under here and just go out this way around it and uh, park here and then see the... Uh, what are they called? Um, the hinges. There's one right there. There's one right there. And then there's some, several right here that I found. Uh, this is nothing, obviously. That's an arrow. I have a lot of pictures. I'm not really interested in talking about uh, talking about each one. But I guess what I had to do is I had some complaints about how fast I was going through some of these pictures. This is basic dome geology. And uh, this is the oldest strata in the middle. And these are the younger stratas outside. So the oldest one in the ring apparently has fresh water, but I don't know if I believe that. There's Jimmy. If you don't know about this map, it shows Atlas. I don't think I need to talk about this again. This is a rectangular temple near Andros underwater. So when people say, oh, Atlantis was here, Atlantis was there. Santorini was uh, an older, sure, I have no problem with that. Um, it's just not beyond the pillars of Hercules. But everything else is beyond the pillars of Hercules. But uh, to be honest, I really think the concentric circles that are in the Rashad structure, the one that's at Plato and uh, Herodotus maps and uh, Solon were describing. And uh, I think that Chris Tolworthy video is pretty good at explaining how that could be. Um, also, with the uh, nearness, and people say, what are you talking about? You're turning left. You're going down thousands of miles. But if you look at the way that Chris Tolworthy presented it, and I did do a video about that, but you can see that thumbnail. Um, I should find it. It's kind of inconvenient to find. But uh, it shows how it, it's almost a straight line. Uh, cataclysmic events. Yeah, and the picture I was just talking about, this is from Bright Insight. These are images I scanned quite a long time ago. I'm going to check and see who's in the chat. 
uh, let me refresh this page. I've got this other device showing. See, I don't know how to do it. Go back to videos, I guess, and go to my videos again. All right. So as I was saying, uh, the the Pillars of Hercules, which would be – Okay, now I have to turn this off. Go back to videos, I guess, and go to my videos again. All right. So as I was saying uh, – Okay, that was me talking. I think Plato made a composite story ending in a morality scenario. Well, if you think it's a myth, but uh, according to what people say about uh, the Greek Plato, all that his that that history, right? Is it prehistory or is it history? It's history. Is that uh, they were very honest about it? Um, you're talking about going beyond the Pillars of Hercules. And it's literally right down here. But if you turn this at an angle, it's almost a, like a straight line out. People follow the coastline. They're not going to go straight out. And there wouldn't be mud banks out here. The mud bank is actually right there. And it's still a mud bank now. Um, okay, that's it. finished with this. I kind of uh, wanted to go slowly through some pictures. And I have some maps. Where am, where am I? Am I in the right place? Let me see here. I got to make sure. Let me just go and I'll show you what. But I'm looking at, I've got this folder here called Atlantis. And uh, there were a lot of maps I did a long time ago in there. And I think that I've, I've totally ignored it. So, um, mm, I don't know. I think that's it. I wanted to show some of these maps. So what I'm showing you right now is way down here. So let me just start from the beginning and I'll get to some of these maps here. These are the temples. I think I showed you this already. Yeah, I agree with that. There's definitely something that was put into that story. I mean, like, for example, the explanation he gives is how everything uh, went bad in the end. He was talking about how it's because of the people. He didn't really attribute it to a natural cataclysmic event. You know, I just noticed this triangle right here. See that? Is that Google? That's a Google. So it's, but is that a triangle? Um, there's the two temples. They're bigger than Stonehenge, and these boulders are about five meters wide. So I think we should somebody should visit those and the ones above it. Okay, I went through this already, so I'm going to go back to the old map, I, uh, the ones that I was just doing, because I don't want to repeat stuff in these last few videos. Now, this is just going along the road north of the Rashad structure, and there was a circle there. I think that that's a glitch. That that. It's some kind of a mapping glitch. I don't think that's really real, but I couldn't get any closer. That's a road that's going right next to it. So, you know, there is a chance that that's just too clean. I mean, okay, tumuli, they could be burial mounds or they could be other markers. I Did you believe in flying machines 300,000 years ago? That's going a little bit stretchy, but I was actually convinced for a while there were flying machines that were putting these things down on the earth. And I would really like to compare the most of the uh, tumuli in the Rashad structure with maybe a previous North Pole in Alaska. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Hey, Indy Archaeology, uh, thanks for joining. And by the way, Indy, I was a little hard. I really want to apologize. I did watch that video again just now. It was, I was angry that day, and I had a lot of bad stuff happening. And, and I, I was kind of trying to pretend I was angry and kind of inflated a little bit. Uh, but I, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to change that thumbnail and, and uh, take take those pictures and more, make them more prominent. But, uh, you know, these videos, I'm only getting 300 views anyways. I don't know the coordinates of this. I'm sorry about that. Um, I could probably find it for you. I think that if you check my uh, Facebook page, I save a bunch of stuff onto this page called Atlantis. Just some random stuff. This is early, early thumbnails that I created for my first videos. And the the, the playlist is down below. Uh, this is what I believe is the, um, uh, which one is this? This is one of the um, ash lines that proved that there was a cataclysmic event. And uh, this one was supposed to be the one that was 12,600 years ago. Uh, the Dreyer, um, why can't I remember it? You know I know it. Younger Dryas event. And I just did different thumbnails. I don't know if you uh, realize that I can make a thumbnail in about five seconds. Uh, but, and by the way, I hope I don't go across any weird porn or something that I just happened to randomly grab. This is some big stone that was being moved in 
can you read that? Nias Island, Indonesia. Not really sure much. Of, I don't know a lot about the other megalithic structures around the world, so I am learning. Okay, uh, this is definitely west of the center of the structure. By the way, uh, thank you for your comments. I'm going to look at them later, and uh, I'm going to keep talking here. So I'm tr I don't want to ignore you. Please write your questions or comments, and do give a shout out to Indy Archaeology. And why don't you go over his web, uh, his uh, YouTube channel, and subscribe right now? Uh, don't navigate away from my video. Right click and open a new tab, please. Um, these circles are they okay? Now I, I I'm going to say maybe they were burial mounds of some sort. I've never seen these compared to any others. Uh, and when I say burial mounds, I don't want to say that. The tumuli were all burial mounds because I didn't do, and I want to give full on credit to Antony Tunstall who collected those images and doesn't believe they're all about burial mounds. He believes it's about water. And uh, honestly, look at these. Um, now that I know what I'm kind of looking at, maybe there's some type of tumuli. So I'm not going to say burial mound. I'm going to say tumuli or tumulus. One tumulus, two tumuli. This is your brain on universe. Um, there we go. Those are the two books. You can download those. I just, this is early stuff. And this is another thing that I personally haven't done is to do the calculations of, and really measure the island out. I've been ignoring that. I've never done it. This apparently was where they uh, found the hieroglyphics that uh, Solon uh, got from the, the priest. I was just checking that out. Sias, the Temple of Sias. These would be the different types of uh, satellites that get Google Earth. I don't know which one is the Google Earth one, but I was trying to do a little research on that to understand the best shots. So these are just some random shots of that. And it was called the Airbus. This is what was coming up in my Google Earth searches. Okay, so what does this say? Quick move Japan coast, eight feet shifted Earth's axis. This is something from Bright Insight. Usually Bright Insight uses those red ellipses. And it's a CNN article in 2011. <clears throat> okay, I did do a couple of videos on the Sphinx. And uh, this is just random stuff from that. There, I, I think that uh, Doc, uh, Dr. Koss, Charles Koss, he was talking about a larger structure under there. Um, so how come we don't know? I mean, there's a big old entrance there. So why don't we know for sure? I guess this is like old history maybe whatever it was what okay i'm going to go to the maps i really want to be on maps this is the uh, other impact it's been covered in snow here but that is the one that was found in greenland i think this is this is um by the way always check out um this is a great video atlantis slash lumeria times ruins part 19 when the survivors of atlantis wake up this is by new earth and uh, this is La Mania, La Mana, and I don't know much about that. Ecuador. It's just something uh, megalithic. And by the way, if I want to talk about megalithic, I no longer believe that people crossed the land bridge into the North America. I believe that Atlantis was all over the world 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 years ago. That's just Plato, right? And uh, it's interesting what Bright Inside taught me about the Poseidon myth and the twins. Okay, here we go. We Now we can see that the uh, distance from the concentric circles to Nakshat is 500 kilometers. It's not just 100 miles. So, Indy, I, uh, by the way, why don't you type your real name or whatever nickname we can refer to you as Indy? Because I really don't remember your first name. Sorry about that. And... Uh, yeah, so when you arrived, you went to Nakshad, and then you traveled, and you you made it all the way. So props to you, dude. And by the way, I don't. we haven't seen Josh over at World Alternative Media having reached there. He was at the ruins here, but I think he must have gone. He was at the ruins in um, Oadain. So he probably made it to the concentric circle. He just hasn't released a video yet. 321 miles. Okay, so 500 kilometers is 352 miles um this is just talking about how the desert used to be lush but guess what this map doesn't show um graham thank you graham thank you and uh 
thank you for going. Um, this map here doesn't show the two lakes. One was the Maghreb Lake, not this one. The Maghreb, and you were talking about it. I believe that the Maghreb Lake was just to the right of that lower part of the Atlas Mountains, that big, huge chunk that was just north of the eye. Um, I may not be exactly where, it, but it's about here where the Maghreb, and I believe that some type of dam broke or there was a major um, event that caused the lake to just go straight over that and and flood Atlantis. And that was the cataclysmic event that happened in the end, 12,600 years ago. This is all, you know, I'm not going to put my life on any of this. This is just kind of my my narrative. It's not the mainstream narrative, obviously. Also, I do believe that there was a... Um, um, collection of uh, canals that took it down to what was called the Senegal Lake. It's still a little tiny one, but it was much bigger, and maybe we'll see that. This map doesn't show those. It only shows these other ones. Just megalithic structures around the world. Just the random shots I got. I'm not going to get too deep. Okay, this map is uh, not one that I'm going to use. I can tell you earlier, and by the way, I just saw this on your chat about the comment about how the Nile connects to the Senegal River. And here's that where that happens right here. Look at this. What's going on in this map? You've got the Nile hitting this. This is a mountain. Or maybe I'm wrong. The mountain's here. And then you've got the Senegal River coming here. And now what's going on here with all these weird lines, canals? So that's the only way those could have connected because you have the Senegal going up into a mountain and you have the, the, the uh, Nile, which is not so simple, by the way, right? Is You definitely have hundreds of little rivers and capillary rivers. Okay, this is an upside-down map. I'm not going to get too into it. <clears throat> not sure what's happening here. This has to do with... I think that has to do with water or electricity. I, I, that's something like from the utility company. Like oil, maybe? Okay, I don't know what that is. Just more shots. These are underwater stuff that's been found uh, under the Atlantic Ocean. And that is right there at the top of a, of a temple. Marble beams and slabs with the marble building apex found seven miles north of Bimimi. Pretty sure that's like uh, close to Florida or close to Cuba, uh, maybe down in the... I'm not sure, but this check out that same video I mentioned from New Earth. It's one word, lower cap, lower uh, case, New Earth. She's great. She, um, I, I actually have to catch up on her videos. These are just random sketches of the concentric circles. I'm not going to get too much into that, because, uh, but I will give a chance for a screenshot. Like, for example, the psychic Ed Edgar Casey, very famous, I guess. I'm, I'm not really too much into it, but he seemed to have some concept, or maybe he just studied history. Aslan, Aslan, I don't know where this is. Aslan is, uh, 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 well, I guess it's a mythical place, but honestly, it was San Francisco down to uh, down to San Diego, Aslan. It actually was part of Mexico, too. So I'm not really sure about this myth or, or belief. Is this the upside-down elephant skull? This is visitingatlantis.com. But I think we've passed what visiting Atlantis did. I think exactly what uh, happened here. Some other like marble structure that was found in that area. And by the way, this wasn't in the. This was uh, that same video I mentioned. So um, not sure what's happening here. This is just random stuff. I really wanted to get. Uh oh, that's a little too phallic for me to talk about. Uh, these pictures I grabbed talking about the 1.6 degree uh, pi. Uh, I'm sorry, phi. It's the uh, magic number of growth that makes sure that uh, things grow efficiently. So you'll see some of those. I kind of think that this might be fake. This is from the middle of the Sahara Desert. Uh, this, and sorry, this was from the middle, near Andros. And the guy that got this, you can find this pretty easy. But you don't see, I'm going to try to find another one of him. I kind of feel like this is fake. Like, why haven't people gone back there and gotten better pictures by now? That's just weird. So I, I kind of think it was a it was a kind of a setup. I mean that's too too clean that picture. I was measuring a circle. This was um, the area is sixty three square kilometers or twenty four point six square miles. That area, I, I kind of that was early on, so I wasn't really paying attention to uh, certain things that I know now. Like I would say that this is the the real ridge right there. 
So I think maybe this is a good measurement of the bottom of the river. I mean, the uh, this concentric canal, but <clears throat> early stuff that I didn't delete. What's that? I don't want to know what that. Oh, that's just somebody trying to scam me. <clears throat> I have a lot of people trying to scam me. I said, why would Sheryl Sandberg hire you? A person who can't speak English talk to me in English. You mean you're not interested in getting your, all your winnings from Mark Zuckerberg? I just was BSing him. Anyways, <clears throat> where's my water? need my water. I can't believe I'm getting dry throat. Okay, so I grab a lot of pictures from places. This is something random in the middle of nowhere in the Rashad structure. Um, some stuff about Plato. So this is Plato's words. Atlantis, when sunk by the earthquake, became an impassable barrier of mud. So the point is, is that the, that little mud bench that's outside the um, old Taman, Reset, Renset, I can't say it, river basin uh, that comes out between Cape Capo Blanco and Capo, Cape Miric which it's not really on the map these days, but Cabo Blanco is still there. Um, that's where that exit point was. Actually, that that mud bank's a little lower that's closer to Nakshot. So I kind of think that that mud was the southern passing point. Here, where's my map? I'll show you. Where's my map? So I'm going to show you. I'm sorry, I should be showing you this on the map. <clears throat> you can see the mud buildup right there. Where is it? Oh, you know, it is above there. Okay, so this mud bank right here um, came from north. Sorry. And that's the one that people wrote about. But I believe that that mud bank was a lot bigger. You see that on the maps. It was even out here farther. And it kind of showed a... Cons uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, it might be drinking water time. Hold on, let me grab some. So you really have two exit points for water coming through. Sorry about that. And this is very small now, but I do believe it was a lot larger. Okay, so what was I saying? The point is is that uh, there's two points where water exited. One was here, and you can kind of see what is a residual delta. I believe the delta was right there in my heart. If the city's here, it's next to the delta, right? And people naturally follow geographical, uh, geological patterns. And, and if this was the, this is, kind of the mountain here. I think this is a higher part. So I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know the altitude right here. I'd like to know it. And I, it's kind of not, it's kind of vague. Anyways, a barrier of mud is different from sinking into the ocean. An earthquake became impassable. So it does say the word sunk. Stuff like this happens over time. This is just a random ridge that got moved. So this whole chunk of what you would say, oh, that's bedrock. No, it's moving. So you can't always say it's bedrock. I, I do try to remain skeptical. Hot springs, where are they else? You guys having a random conversation without me? I, you know, I have to really be careful to read these because YouTube disappeared my comments in a previous video. So now everything that's circular, I call tumuli. Possible burial mounds. How old are they? Thousands of years old. And look at this weird thing that it's on. It's on some ridge. It's like a rectangle. That's why I grabbed that. I wasn't paying attention to the circles when I grabbed that. I was paying attention to that angle right there. And I thought it looked like a rectangle. I also saw these dots. So this is over um, on the... Okay, so the... It's kind of interesting now that you that I mention it. The On 13 kilometers to the west... Of the center of the Rashad structure are the the temples. I call them the temples, but what they really are are there's their hinges, stone hinges, bigger than the the stone hinge we all know. Thirteen kilometers that way. Now thirteen kilometers this way, we have this. That's that's an interesting thing. I think it's like the exact opposite direction. So I don't know where do people be, where are these ancient burial mounds, the tumuli? It, could that be a canal right there? going across. When you see these long lines meet a river, now this would be an ancient waterway, or maybe this was done in one one extreme period of uh, event. Maybe it wasn't a river, but my point is, is that when you see these canals going into ancient rivers, it, it's, that's, that's how they would meet. Someone did point these out. I have no idea what this is. Um, it does have some angles going, and they do have some mounds going. So angles, mounds, 
something ancient, something important. People bury their dead there because it's an important place, probably on top of a mountain, but not too far. It's not like they're going to hike thousands of miles with a dead body, right? They're going to take it nearby where they live. Okay, this is just a, a Plato quote that I grabbed. Oh, yeah. So, again, I don't know if you're still here. Graham, Mauritania Travel Advisory, right? Graham uh, is disproving this. And I, I think Graham says that the bug bites can be more dangerous. I don't know if I took this one. I don't, I didn't, that's interesting, right? It looks like somebody created that. And now I feel ashamed that I don't know where that is. I, maybe it's not even, I, I was assuming it was in the mountains, the Adrar Mountains. But uh, this is one of those weapons, one of those uh, boulders with the flat surfaces. And Graham, I have a question for you. Did you see that? Because the Atlantis, uh, visiting Atlantis video says these were found everywhere. And I wondered if you had run across them with the little flat surface on them. And the flat surface is so they can be stored without rolling and put in little slingshots or cannons. This was looking at the vector. Okay, I said the wrong word. What are these called? Fractals. These fractal designs are, come from the phi number. This is just uh, the skeletons of mountains after heavy, heavy erosion like a uh, Joshua tree. And I used to live near there. So I think that these are uh, very unique, especially I'd like to go now to look at Joshua Tree again and see if we see these. These have fractal patterns to them. Just like I was mentioning, that that number phi, those are like ancient crystals, right? You don't see that in Joshua Tree. So this is like really, really interesting reptilian uh, shapes. And I have to give credit to Michelle Chen when she found those those uh, canals, but um, she also was pointing a bunch of this stuff out, like saying it was, I think that this is just ancient, you know, these, these, that's those reptilian there, but uh, there was something now like that's an old river, a riverway. I mean, maybe not always flowing type of river, but a lot of water went that way for a while and it came through here. It, it reached, it came over, it came over, it came over and it created these ripples. Water created that that's created by water right there. Water created all these shapes. I mean, that's not done by wind, okay? That's not done by wind. You can't say wind had a chance to do that. Okay, this is from visitingatlantis.com, and this is whatever it was real. I don't know. I think that's the bright insight. This is uh, Cuba, and why do they have, why have they done this so you can't see in here? Is it because we don't know what Cuba... I mean, I, actually, I can't go in. This is not a map. But if you go in here, you can kind of see it. But why are they covering that up? Why can't you see it like that? This just doesn't make sense. What are they hiding? This, I don't know where that is. It's in the Sahara someplace. Maybe that is in Mauritania. I think that came from visiting Atlantis video. This is an ancient pattern for somebody's house. And those things look exactly like the circles that you see through the structure. So that's why I mentioned the triangles or the other rectangles that we saw that represented old buildings. and But the corners were round. You don't see that here. So what were they? Were they columns of some sort? This is Egypt. That structure there is supposed to be the same type of uh, layers that the Sphinx was carved from. There's the Sphinx there. These are some Sphinx shots. And that right there was the same plateau that the Sphinx was carved from, and it has the same weathering. And it's called a GCF1. Um, I don't know if there's a major point I can make from it. This is where Josh just went. This is uh, the ruins in Oadane. And these are some megalithic style rock patterns in South America, Ecuador. Ruins. Okay, I'm not finding my maps. What's this? Um, this was south of the Rashad structure, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if that's actual water or just dried earth. But there's the, where are we? That's 10 kilometers. So the castle here, I don't know what that is out there. That's a triangle or something. But I just, uh, it's an actual, uh, the, the circular columns. It's actually 10 kilometers exactly. But have to realize if this was 
King Atlas's and Poseidon's home, then this has to be like a perfect circle right there. So I don't know if you're going to really have, according to the Plato writing, there was like a temple here, but the house was here. So 10 kilometers away, you have these. I mean, if that's true, if the Rashad structure was, um, where are the megalithic remains of those buildings? Were they really washed away? This is a, some guy was saying that this was a, a dude. Uh, I, okay. The main city was constructed with red, black, and white rocks. I think Graham's shown us those. Okay, I've missed, I'm missing my, uh, no more chatting, huh? Thank you, for, uh, Caesarillion Aurelius. So I'm going to go forward and get these maps. There's that picture again of the temple that was underwater. We have a, uh, let's see, who's still with us? I wish I could figure that out. I'm going to go through the chats real quick. Thank you for joining. I for watch, Oida. Cicerillion Aurelius, you were the first one. Earth pimple. A floating sheet of pumas for miles. Mud issue. Yeah, Brian, I talked to Brian Forrester. Nice. He said he wasn't going to go there. Now, that would be great. I don't think you're going to get Graham Hancock out there either. He just had um, he just had a medical issue. He had um, some uh, seizures and unfortunately spent some time in the hospital. I think that was recently. So he needs to stay home. He needs to stay safe and keep writing. Okay, I'm just going through your chats. I'm sorry for the silence. I understand Charles Koss, that you don't agree with him. Cavemen rafting along the coast. I wouldn't say rafting. I think they had ships. They had a fleet, according to Plato, right? Is it possible to drift across the Atlantic? Uh, yeah, I don't think, not on a raft, unless you uh, are really good at catching rainwater. Where did you get that information that King Tut ended up with the gold of Atlantis? Is there an alien? I'd like to know more about that. You should put your links in here. And by the way, put them in when the video, put them in another video that already exists. This video technically doesn't exist yet. There were, well, hot springs, you know, I never really thought about hot springs. That's a good point. There must have been hot springs. You, you get mountains, you get hot springs. I think they come from the lower portion of the mountain. You don't have to go up high in the mountain to get hot springs. You just go to the bases of the mountains. I used to live in desert hot springs. You seem to be getting a lot of information there, Sister Elena. Are you doing videos? I'd like to check those out. <clears throat> Thank you for retracting your message, Dubnai. Dubnex. Dubnex. Why are you retracting messages? Dubnex. Well, it was a long time ago. I think that Atlantis started like 50,000 years ago, and it was like the original place that was connected to the myth of Poseidon and the original King Atlas. And that original king, he uh, kind of kept it at home. Like, have you ever seen a celebrity's apartment with the, uh, the old nasty designs and stuff? Like, I don't know if you've ever watched movies that were about people like... Uh, 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 so many rich people in movies, and when they get old, they they still have the same decor. Like take, let's take um, uh, Playboy for example, right? Hugh Hefner, like that castle was supposed to be really nasty in the end. It's really like all the drapes are probably I don't know what's on those drapes. You know, I don't even want to talk about that anymore. So well, the point is though, is that the concentric circles were probably uh, really. Um, under they weren't megalithic if, if it's true you know i'm not going to say one way or the other eye of horus uh yeah so maybe maybe the eye and especially if we had flying machines right if there were flying machines a hundred thousand okay look guys i'm going to just come out and say it i i do believe a, a few i i don't not believe uh certain things like maybe martians could have made it to earth before it became uninhabitable or would that be Venus? 
and uh, if it's true, then we're talking billions of years. Some survivors somehow, I don't believe that any ETs came from far, far away. So if there were UFOs, they probably have existed for hundreds of thousands of years. And so there were flying machines. But if not, then this is not from the Atlantis, right? But I mean, the, it's just interesting how the Eye of Horus, and there's also the other one that's coming up. There's another eye. They have these flowing rivers coming from them, right? Could that be the concentric circles right there in the Eye of Horus? Okay, we have just uh, some burial mounds, I think, or different mounds. Not really sure. We saw that. I wanted to get to the maps, and uh, I've already been talking for 45 minutes. I don't like this one. It's kind of a little bit exaggerated. Okay, how many of those do I have? See, what I see here is this is like Bedrock Mountain sticking up through a, a, a alluvial floodplain of sand. And this stuff is what we uh, see the burial mounds or tumuli on. I see these little circles, and I think that's what that could be. And then, of course, we have to think about the fact that this area is on a major ley line. That ancient lake fell right on that ley line. So in a single day and night of misfortune, the island of Atlantis disappeared into the depths of the sea. Okay, there's, there's the quote that says it went into the ocean. So we have to disagree with Plato there if we want to follow this theory. So <clears throat> I'm not all about disagreeing with somebody who wrote history 2,000 years ago. I'm about researching it and connecting with it. So that's the uh, the Stonehenge. This is the the castle, and out here are those dots. I'm not sure why I did that. Okay, I haven't shown you any maps yet. This is not Atlantis. I think this is fake. I'd like to see more information on this. Why doesn't someone get down there? I mean, they're showing a pyramid with a cap on it. And the cap is like, uh, well, if, why don't they have a photo of that? Okay, I'm not showing you the pictures I wanted to show you. I'm going to zip through these and have one last chance at actually doing something. What's that measurement? So um, these are two little items that are down there. There's not, they're rectangles. And these were the, uh, another uh, uh, kind of a, what they call a, a keyhole structure that's very similar to these. Where is it? There. These are in the Middle East. And you see probably what they really are are some type of burial amount. That's all I can say about that. But maybe that's what we found here too. In the middle of the Rishat structure. These are elephant teeth. So yeah, um, this is uh, just a rectangle, but this is actually one of those keyholes, so possibly a burial mound of some sort. I think that those are definitely... If anybody didn't know, I went to Upland High School. There were alternate zones of sea and land, larger and smaller, encircling one another. There were two of land and three of water, which were turned as if with a lathe, each having its circumference equidistant every way from the center. So if it was really so perfect, there had to be been walls. And where are the megalithic walls? So were they not so megalithic? Were they the stones we see in town? If that's true, then I still think we would have seen something. Maybe if they were completely washed out of there. Or maybe they were carried out of there. I mean, people have been doing stuff. You see the religious activity here with the hinges. So now you know that I don't uh, do a lot of weird stuff on my computer. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to just let you go through it. What is this? Image. Okay, guys. I know I'm talking about what I promised to talk. What is that? That is some... Uh, that is pork. That is Taiwan pork. Yep. It's very delicious. A pork belly, like bacon. I'm sorry if you're a vegetarian or vegan. I did start a group of vegans for vegans, for some friends, and I do attend vegan restaurants, but they seem to be dying out. Some of the ruins of Atlantis are in the water, and that's why when Graham Hancock said we got to check these continental shelves, that uh, means we've got to scan them. You guys are talking about doing LIDAR scans. LIDAR scans are not going to get underneath this sand structure here. 
you're going to see the sand. We can see it already. We don't need a LIDAR scan. We need higher resolution scans. That, I think. But we also need, on the Atlantis Ocean, some major scans. So, guys, please subscribe to my channel and please share my channel. And this video is kind of lame because I'm just rambling, but there's other videos out there that I've actually done editing and I've gotten the information out there really fast, as fast as possible. So if you could go through that playlist and share some of those videos, try to get me viral again and try to make me some money again because I'm not making any money at all. Okay, um, this is a mining activity as far as I'm concerned. Don't know exactly what's going on there. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site picture. I grabbed it from something. <clears throat> Obviously lightning. Okay, this is the um, the famous... Uh, well, I'm not sure. I, actually, I, this might be different. But I was talking about that... Ex what, I thought it was an explosion, but I guess it was a, a crater landed. Another underwater structure from under the ocean. By the way, the website is megaliths.org. And if you go to megaliths.org, it's related to the New Earth channel. I'd check that out. She's got a bunch of stuff, a bunch, a bunch of alternative history. And she talks and talks. And, and what are these? That's interesting. What is this? That is interesting because, okay, so that's over here. Just that shape. It seems like that's that canal shape right there. And when I say canal shaped, see my old canal video for that. Atlantis is famous throughout the ancient world. I see. You don't have to worry about making spelling areas here. This is showing the measurement of the castle. It says that the area is 4,591 square meters or 49,000 square feet. Is that possible? That's big, right? And uh, we call that the castle, but I think it's a fort. Here's one of those maps. So we're getting to the maps, guys. We're getting to the maps. And I just talked about, this was a boring one because it doesn't really show much inland, but there's Capo Blanco, and here is Capo Verde, and this is Cape Miric right there that separates the Taman Reset River Basin from the other side. And you can see how they showed rivers, and there's better maps that show m better stuff. This is found in the middle of the Atlantic, and it's it's actually there's like this little rectangle right there. And I think that's where those pyramids were found. So I'm not sure. Now uh, you don't see that anymore, do you? Look at that. Now you see, uh, where is this one? Oh, is this upside down or what? I don't know what we're looking at here. But there's, there's a rectangle here, but I don't know. This is the mid-Atlantic uh, ridge in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. <clears throat> okay, that's boring. Um, shells found. Okay, after the Ice Age, humans saw fires larger than infernos. Interesting. That's a study found. What? I don't know what that is. This is a great painting. Uh, not, not worried about my private life here. Um, let's see. The mountains of the island of Atlantis was celebrated for their new number and size and beauty. Okay. That's in Iran. Don't worry about that. That was something else. So here's what I, I, I don't know who who did this, but there's a lot of moisture here. So there was probably like some kind of a river. I kind of feel like it went that way, but whatever. That's a road. I'm not sure what that is. These were some of the um, weird activity that was going along just south of the Western Sahara border along that road and heading over towards into the mountains of the Rashad. And one was worried, what are they destroying? But I think that this is just gross, ugly-looking mining activity for making roads. The country immediately surrounding the city of Atlantis was a level plain, itself surrounded by mountains which descended towards the sea. Okay. A level plain. All right. And by the way, uh, you did bring that up, Graham. I, I did hear you mention that. I don't really want to get into Edward Casey quotes. Okay, so this is that that one thing, the shocking story about two huge pyramids found in Devil's Triangle. <laughs> Whoops, I almost knocked over my microphone. I hope I didn't just disconnect my sound. Please let me know if you can't hear me anymore. 
Oh well, the so-called castles I believe weren't weren't around during the flood myth. Uh, please comment if you can still hear me. Just say I can still hear you. That would really make me happy. Uh, because I just bumped my USB cable on the microphone. <clears throat> I'm using the Yeti, by the way. Um, I'm going to ask the question: Can you hear me? Because if you can't, I need to just stop talking. Yes, good. Okay, great. I'm just going to send that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Two huge pyramids found. So this is where that one thing I said was kind of weird and kind of fake. This is two, by the way. So um, this is, came from the Atlantis Lemuria Times Ruins video. So maybe she did go over the other one, too. Antarctica is getting taller. Just some random maps, and I did want to look at these in the end. The god Poseidon found no difficulty in making special arrangements for the Sender Island, bringing up two springs of water from beneath the earth, one of warm water, the other of cold. See, I thought it was one fresh water, one salt water. So, highest twin birth rates, that's an interesting thing. There's also, what is this, how fossils work. <clears throat> okay. What is this? This is a um, bright insight video. Some stuff I grabbed, I just didn't, didn't know. What is this? A updated diagram, the largest stones, at, uh, the Bimini Road or Bimini Wall adapted from zinc. I think that what it is, it's something under the water. These large ones that you've seen these pictures actually come over. I think this is actually down near uh, at Antarctica. I could be wrong about that. And this, of course, is the Bosch map. He was a, a royal map maker who happened to get information that other people didn't have. Philip Bosch, he did some maps. You should check those out and try to understand those. Something about um, oil, I think, Mauritania, maybe. I'm not sure what's going on here. So this is Knockshot right there. And this is, this is uh, what used to be called Cape Verde. And the Cape Verde Islands are out here. But this is the Senegal River border. This is the Senegal River and Mauritania. They did some, a lot of, um, I don't know what this is, seismic, 3D seismic, 2D seismic, based, I don't know. It says here, Cosmos Torture 1 map. And what's this? Oh, here it is, Taino Basin Offshore Ghana. Something I found and I just saved it because I save everything because I'm a hoarder. I'm a hoarder in real life and I'm a hoarder in, in the digital world as well. Okay, I'm not a bad hoarder. I got rid of all my stuff, but I do tend to hoard. My mom hoards. Okay, so this is the Taman Reset entrance. It used to be a river like the Nile. All right, we're getting into some maps here. Now, this one, obviously, you can see the Senegal River right there. There's another entrance to the Senegal. So some of these lower rivers, this isn't very clear. Let's move on. That was the Siam temple just some other what is this oh this is the um ancient lake area of, near libya it's, it's over here so not really relevant to our main theory or thesis this is the um some other people that got pictures of underwater stuff and this was done in that same video so i really hope you go watch this video lennox globe here we go and they cut off uh atlantis Okay, by the way, remember, it's the Atlas Mountains, and then there's the Atlantis tribe, according to the Herodotus. And you've got these rivers going straight in. That must be the Senegal entrance right there. But here's Cape Verde. So there, look at that. So this is, you know, there it is. That says Cape Verde right there. So what the, these islands are wrong. So if this is Cape Verde, then this is the Senegal River entrance. Kind of a bad map. This is an interesting pyramid, right? Not sure about that one. I forgot. I think that's in Africa. South of Egypt somewhere. I could be wrong. Maybe it's in Indonesia. Yeah, I think it's in Indonesia. Some dome stuff that I found. Life is meaningless, so do your own thing. Okay, for a while I thought that was maps. Was I loose connections? It wasn't a loose connection. I hit it with my... I hit it, and I, I feared that, that it disconnected it and that you couldn't hear me, but it didn't disconnect. 
So I copied that meme. I like that meme. I made that meme. This is just that area here. Some people refer to it as the, the. Uh, I don't know why it's so white. I used to refer to it as the quarry, but I wouldn't call that a quarry now. And it, there's that other castle that I started the show with that it was found by CM Guitar. And it was obviously ancient and old and no longer existing. Okay, am I not finding any more maps? They're coming up. I promise you the maps are coming. This is the Maghreb Sea, and this is the ancient Senegal Sea. And it was right here. I think this sea is what flooded. I think this sea was connected to the Atlantis, uh, sorry, to the Atlantic Ocean. And there was also the Taman Reset River, which is going right out there. This is a great map because it really shows you the main points. And this is a desert, not a mountain. There's a big mountain uh, right here, kind of right here, a big, huge mountain, a big, huge high area. And I think that it just went around and came straight down. Okay, um, Willie wanted to show you more maps, but it seems to me that I'm never going to get there. You're seeing repeats. You can see here the ancient lake bed. And you can see the Tamanoset River went right through there. You can see markings there. Okay, was it a castle fort? It had a pyramid in the same place? I wouldn't be so bold as to say pyramid. I see on those maps that people have created from the writings of Plato that they put a, a religious temple on top of that area. And in the middle would be his castle. And then on the other side, there was another little... Uh, we can go back and see those. I, I don't really pay attention to those much because, I mean, it's really still a, a, a stretch for me to have such a perfect knowledge. And the Chris Tolworthy video made it clear that people up on the mountains looked down on the circles and could see the circles from a distance. They're, they're enemies trying to come in and spy on them. So check out that video by Chris Tolworthy. Ruins of Sais. Okay, so I kept showing you the Sais temple, and this is where uh, the, the information on Atlantis came from. So remember that. Plato, Plato didn't go there. He wrote about something that was written through his family, and uh, he just repeated a story, and it apparently came from Egypt, Solon. So don't think that it came from all the sailing back and forth. It, it was a story that came through Egypt. That's that one hinge. We need to get there and check this out. See how big those stones are. Okay, I'm, I'm really repeating myself. So uh, kind of these, these are all the different things that are around. You can see the temples or the hinges, the castle, the center, other items. Dry throat. Let me see if we're going to get to these maps. I know. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. Okay, so is this the high res one? There's a high res and there's a low res. I guess they're both the same. That's better. So here we can see. Uh, this is not a great one. This is really bad. Let's keep moving, but you can see Wadain on these maps. And you can see rivers going up to them. Is this going to show it? No. So basically, I don't believe this was ever possible. This theory is wrong. This is too big. And where is it? You can't see it under the water. So sorry. This one too. That's Africa. This is the Americas. This one is the same concept. I don't believe in it. I showed you this earlier. Senegal River, Nile, the Atlas Mountains, this hook. What is that? You know, I didn't show it clearly before, but is that the eye itself or is that the, the mountains? A quick look at the cities here that are around that area, Huadain, Chingeti, Tichit. I think that you should plan to spend one night in each of these places and then go out from there. Just some old map of Northern Africa. I wonder if that's the one that Graham went to. I don't think Graham's with us anymore. But hopefully he'll come back and finish it. Maybe he was busy, had to go to bed. You can see the 
the mud banks and the changes in the enigmatic shapes of this area. But I do believe that this is very hard bedrock here. I believe this is very hard bedrock here going up into the mountain. And I think that the, of course, Cape Verde out there is very, or Drakkar Point is very hard bedrock that was scraped along and across the Atlantic over time. And it didn't, it didn't change its form. That's a pretty special hinge, right? And this is um, a train going across Mauritania. It's just a screenshot I took. Okay, I'm really wondering. I thought I had a bunch of more maps here to show you, and I'm, these are just random things that I found. This is the, the rectangle that I was mentioning, and these circles are similar. Are they columns? These columns existed. So, so this is it right here. This is really another thing we have to check out was this, it doesn't look like it's a castle, but it's a big, huge building. So this is right on the, uh, the edge of the outer two rings. So I wouldn't say that it's the house of Poseidon, but it looks like it had columns in the corners. Are these boulders? Or are these, are these religious? These look like the, the fences you get at the castle. So are they, maybe they're just old forts but i'd like to know what that is made of is that a column okay sahara desert this is um i guess that's just north africa right there so that doesn't really help us but it's a it's not even high res this is something else that was found underneath the atlantis atlantic ocean up near uh finland and uh, iceland under the water okay so it's definitely like steps or proof of some type of weird and that looks like an alien you know with two legs and an arms it's just bizarre it just blows my mind i don't know what to think i don't know what to think except that we got to go down there and check it out that's exactly what graham hancock was saying that's a pretty big stage i think it was an old building of some sort and those are walls Okay. Yeah, he said that we need to check our continental shelves. Perfect boulders in the middle of the ocean. Look at those over there. There's a whole bunch of them. I don't know where this is. Something I grabbed from, looks like a monkey. Perhaps some mounds, tumuli. Usually as close as I can get. Okay, just random maps that aren't really helping. Some of the cities that are nearby... It looks like it's, a, it's ruins, but these are real homes. That's the road, I think, south of Western Sahara leading to Atlantis. I'm sorry, to the Rashad structure. Just a circle on the mountain. Oh, oh, that was really good music. I want to hear that music. Singer Mechidma. I want to find that. I couldn't get it. I couldn't find it. I looked for it. Here's an enormous, uh, no, anomalous underwater rectangle in the Bahamas. So where did that come from? Okay, northwest. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay, these are these structures that I found that I haven't... There was one antiquity trophy over here. So I think one of these have been found, but they are also nearby the temple. So if you get there, try to go up here. It's probably a few, a couple miles or maybe at one mile. It's like from here to there, so it's not very far. It's like a kilometer max, maybe half a kilometer. <clears throat> okay, I'm basically going through all this material one more time. Uh, maybe I should talk about this. The Azores Pyramid, of course, that's in the middle of... Uh, actually, I'm not... You know what? I question myself. I'm not sure where that is. I think that might be close to South America. Originally, I thought that this was... In the Atlantic, but now I'm mixing this up with that other one. So the Azores Pyramid is near Terceira Island or Wao de Castro Seamount, wherever that T E R C E I R A island is. But I wouldn't jump to too many conclusions. Okay, these are some weird circles, and I'm pretty sure these are nearby um, the Rashad structure. 
these are some people's homes or something, some type of animal circles. And this is also near the Rishat structure, uh, right on the edge. And this is kind of some weird thing that I found. I think there's a hotel near there. And this is another, it's not really a castle. I think it's a modern day structure. Who knows how old, right? If it's 40 years old, it's still modern day, right? So it, some tumulus. Just the ruins near, what's that? I'd like to know about that. That looks like cement. Just some black mark I found, right? So here's the triangles. I'm reading your comments. Pardon me for a moment. You have the ditch between, and the plain is bare between somewhere under the sand. So, what is this STIH, Rashad? So, hashtag STIH. Is that part of your name? Rashad is Atlantis, you concentric circle, and you have the ditch between the plain is between somewhere they sand. Yeah, we do need to dig that sand up and look for the canals that connecting those. I believe there were canals that went all the way down there. There was water and canals. Okay. Um, yeah, the, one of the triangles. What are these? I want to see those. The triangles are pretty easy to find. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear what those were. Just some jig. I don't know what this is. I think that's Google Earth. Google, I'm sorry, Bing. That was Bing. So it's a little bit different color. All righty. Uh, this is an interesting picture. I've been wanting to show you. It's my name. My name? Oh, Stig. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for saying Stig. Yeah, you're right. Um, these are some interesting mounds that were almost perfectly symmetrical. There's one there. You can barely see that one. So what the heck is going on with these? I think it may be some type of mining activity. Is this mining or are these burial mounds? But they are exactly... You know, another thing they could be is they were placed uh, for photographing um, for aerial photographs, just this one area. But I think that's a little extreme for that type of behavior. You usually see these little crosses... And I know where they are in my town, where they did it in my my town. Now they don't use them anymore, I don't think, because they can do bigger pictures. But they they probably do still have them. They keep them. I just saw one here in Taiwan. So they use them here for local. I feel like we're feeling an earthquake. This is a very interesting part. This is about 13 kilometers west of this. I can find this if you want to know. I've put this in my, my I, insight uh, what is it called? I forgot what it's called. I'm going to show you right now so I don't look like a fool. If you go to uh, here, you've got choices to share. And I go here, and then I share to right here. Where is it? Where is it? Share or embed map. And then you get a Facebook choice. <clears throat> you can copy the link as well. This is what I do. It takes some time, so I'm going to just kind of keep going here. This was interesting. I did a video on that, right? Where is that? Share. What happened? I thought I clicked that. Oh, I, oh, I did. It's here. It's here. Sorry. Well, it disappeared. Sorry, I think it's right there. So, okay, once I get to Facebook, I'm here, and then it says share on your timeline, and I change it over to one of my pages. Right here, share on a page you manage. And the, num the name of the page is the first one on the list, and that's why I share it, because the more you have to click, the more irritating it is, right? Who wants to click? I don't. I hate clicking. Share on a page you manage. And when you click on this choice, eventually it'll pop up a... Yeah, share on a page you manage. Okay. And then we're going to get... Forget this one. And then it's going to show us the page choices. But it's not giving it to me because I have a slow connection. This is just showing uh, when you... Oh, I can't zoom out. This is the weird Atlantis thing that they found right outside Spain. Spain's like up here, and it comes out at this angle. This trench, what is this trench? 
people say that's a scan, but I don't I don't believe it because it's cutting. Th I don't believe it. I don't know what to think. People say these are scans, but I don't I don't really see. Here's a here's the other side of that going right down here to the ancient river coming out. This is where it comes out. Yeah, ancient mining before we had water. This is that weird temple apex. I don't know what that circle is. This is the temple apex. Underwater pictures that were taken. Okay, well, I guess I bypassed. And now the maps are here, right? So keep going with maps. This is what everybody's here for. The Nile come, came all the way down to the southern area, according to this map. And the Senegal, that's Cape Verde, came all the way across and met the Nile right there. It came up together. So that's what you were talking about, Cicerillion. Cicerillion. Okay, this map is not very high res, so I kind of want to find the higher res ones. This is right on the way to um, uh, Peru. It's another pyramid that was found out here in Peru. I'll just make that bigger and you can do a screenshot. Um, Olan Tile Tambo, Peru had some kind of a weird pyramid structures found out here. I'm not sure what this is, but uh, I was just measuring it. That was, again, o Odain, the ancient, and the rocks that you see are black, white, and kind of red. Maybe the clay color is the red. Maybe they need to be washed. I don't know. Hello, George Carlin sending you a message. This is just uh, demonstrating the natural phi that happens for all growing things. I think that was the sun. Okay, sorry about the map promise. I guess I'm going to have to change the title of this video because I'm not doing very many maps. I'm just going through a bunch of old stuff I've collected and we're seeing a lot of repeats and I'm sorry about that. This came from visiting Atlantis. I'd like to know exactly where that is. Where is it exactly? Okay, well, I'm about to give up. I didn't mean to waste your time too much. Detail of the first page from the Botarina Codex depicting the departure from Aslan. So I think we're, we're, we're going back to the beginning. Ah, uh, this was um, some marks on a rock. I actually can't remember where I got those, but it was some something interesting. Man-made. Let's go back to that. What is this? So this is showing before the beginning of the uh, Taman Reset River. It's just Morocco. This is just a rectangle someplace down in the middle of nowhere, right? What is it? Is it a wall? Is it just a fence? So we really want to get close to these structures and take photographs of them, don't we? Okay. I'm kind of uh, going through stuff. I'm sorry about the clicking. I just want to just get through there. This is the altitude. So when I said that I didn't know how high this was, now I can tell you that it's almost sea level. So when it starts to turn yellow, that's 100. So this is like almost 200 is no longer green, right? So that's still under 200. This is like, this is the river basin. Because look, it's an aqua color. That aqua is way down at the bottom. That's the river right there. And then here's the other river. So this is the delta from the river. Nakshad is right there at the edge of the delta. The ancient, now non-existent river. Just some shots. I mean, was this some type of a man-made structure that held water? Was this like a pool that was man-made and there was water on this side and there was water coming up to here? Or were they just rivers and canals? These are the plains where people lived. People lived out here. So yeah, we got to dig up some of the sand. I would say from this point right here, all along here, we got to start going along the sand right here. And under that sand are going to be some answers. Just some random shots from the ground. Some random dots. I don't know where that is. That's not... This is some tweet I thought was in... in I don't really care about Donald Trump. Um, what is this? Ugh. Some mummy. This is... Um, 
That's a Wadain. Maybe the center of the circles. I'm not sure. There's a lot of life here. We saw a lot of tumuli structures. And then look at the way the sand is just drifting across this mountain saddle. Definitely a lot of wind is involved with that, but I believe that a lot of water did that as well. They surrounded, the surrounding mountains of the city flowed with rivers. This is something, okay, those are the keyholes that were found in Iran. These are some different things, perhaps burial mounds, perhaps just art, perhaps some type of Nasta line. This is like in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Not sure where that is. I kind of wouldn't mind knowing if somebody wants to comment. Check out the Electric Universe videos uh, done in 2013. Th those videos done by Plasma Dave will blow your mind. Uh, I forgot what that was. I forgot. I think check uh, that, that uh, New Earth video. Atlantis when sunk by the earthquake, became an impassable barrier of mud. Didn't we read that already? Arrowheads, needles. That kind of looks more modern day, but I think the needles must have been a little bit better than that. That's just weird. Jewelry. Those were all found. That's from the Visiting Atlantis videos. I don't know if you've seen those videos. There's about five or six of them. You should watch them at least one time. So you kind of know where all these resources that I've been using came from. The main city of Atlantis consists of concentric circles and water land. Boring. Okay. Did we already see this? There were a great number of elephants on the island. There's the freshwater mine from visitingatlantis.com. Santorini. What about Santorini? Santorini was it was an ancient civilization also i believe that santorina also went under the water i just don't think it has to do with it has to do with the concentric circles this is a real point here if you take a look at that picture that i showed you a few slides back and see that the mountains on the north side really match what plato wrote that's why i do what rivers Thank you, iFriend. Don't worry. I probably won't have any pictures you haven't already seen before. I'm going to just fess up now. You've probably seen it. Thank you for joining me. Have a good one. I've got to go to sleep, too. i got to wake up in five hours. Rivers. What about rivers? What's the question about rivers? Okay, this is a good one. Somebody just said. That's exactly. I think that's from Bright Insight. If it's not, it's something that I saw, and, I, and it matched it up to Bright Insight. This is an ancient map. That's not going to really help anything, is it? You think this is going to help? See, unfortunately, I can't correlate your comments with my comments because I'm looking down. Herodotus. And one of the things that's important is that the Herodotus maps were created from his writings. They weren't created from, from uh, ancient maps. And maybe they were, but I believe they were more based on his writings. So I never did the calculations. I'm guilty. Okay, this is Seam Wood Guitar. You can always check out his channel. He gave me that one castle. So, But I do have all that stuff on my videos if you go back. Ancient or uh, structures founded in the last, the early ones I did, they're in the, they're in the playlist below. They're all, the playlist is already in this video. Okay, so General Ptolemy, and Ptolemy was a dynasty, an Egyptian dynasty, and if you look at this, you can see the same thing I've shown you. Well, there's better versions of that. What's that, an ancient skull? Oh, there's that map that I couldn't find. I showed you this the other day in my last video. This is a good one. That's a good one. It's in the previous video. So I guess we're calling these uh, tumuli at this point. Or maybe they're bushes. Okay, this is 13 kilometers to the to the west. And those, those symmetrical circles, were, um, the grid of circles were right up above that. But actually right here, there's nothing. But nearby is those, those tumulus, tumuli. 
those are just things that have been found. Well, I seem to have gotten, this is an interesting thing. In the middle of nowhere, I found this on some random dune. It's like, is that a home or is that water? Is that a lake? Kind of looks like it's holding water, but it's probably just a rock. That was cool. But you really can get lost in these dunes. I mean, it, you can't even search them on the map. Think if you were in the middle of nowhere. It looks like a, the foam from fresh water. This does look like the beach. It doesn't look like wind. Anyways, I mean, in those ripples there, those ripples look like water did that. It, those ripples, and this is something that Randall Carlson was saying on the Joe Rogan show. They don't look like they're from wind. They look like they're from the bottom of an aquarium. What's this? It's Alternate Perceptions Magazine. Okay, this is basically the same thing. Video of apparent tool mark in the center of the photo. And I guess if you want to look the guy up, look up Dr. Greg Little, the Andros platform. Bimini. Oh, that's the road, the Bimini road. Yeah, that's important. we got to figure that one out. It's like, obviously, it's underwater and it's going on for miles and miles, the Bimini road. I'll have to do other videos about that in the future. I don't know, because from my impressions, if Atlantis existed, it was made from buildings such as these. It wasn't made from megalithic. This is not megalithic. You can just look at it and tell it's not, and it wouldn't have collapsed. Megalithic structures don't fall down in general. I mean, we have our exceptions, but there's no place for them to go. Their center of gravity is just too tight and too perfect. Okay, so now I would say these are probably burial mounds, ancient thousand year old burial mounts along the road i'm not sure where that is it could be in morocco or it could be outside of africa okay straight of gibraltar coming soon and then uh, i'm probably going to get this out of here what is the most megalithic structure on crete hmm that's a question for another time this is the uh, strait of gibraltar it's a great picture and it kind of makes you wonder if this ever connected. One of those maps shows it connected. Okay, so this is... Um, I don't know what this is. This, okay, this is North America. These are some ancient waterways that New Earth was looking at. This is an interesting one, right? What is that? A surfboard? A shield? This is cool. I don't know who made it, but... Okay, that's just the the myth. That's the lady from New Earth, I think. I might be wrong. I live here. I'm about done. I'm just going to try to get through these because I know I have hundreds of pictures. The area between the outer wall and Merchant Harbor was densely populated and busy all day and all night. Densely populated and busy. And that was that, that sandy plain. Okay, so this is just showing you the length. 37 meters and... Stonehenge is only like 25 meters. Okay, this is the location of the Tenemore Crater. And if you notice, it's only 225 kilometers away. So if that crater could have been the reason why that ancient lake just flew past there. There's a close-up of that crater some uh, more shots of the hinge. This is from a, this is from a, uh, what do you call it? A research paper. I just grabbed it. And uh, he was talking about the dome geology, but this is an interesting picture that came from their continental reconstruction from the late Cretaceous period. So this really shows, and by the way, I don't really believe this. I think that these people didn't research well. I feel like, well, what about, I don't know. I could be wrong. I mean, maybe they know what they're doing. This is when it's separating. I don't believe that. I don't believe this is true because you can see it from the ridge that these lines have been the same. I mean, they, maybe they came back together. Maybe that, that blue line represents an under, but what happened to the Dakar? I don't believe that for a second. I, I just don't. I can argue about that. Stairs. What stairs? 
just some research paper I grabbed. This was that keyhole. This is the Rashad structure. It's probably either a burial mound or it kind of looks like uh, was trying to be one of the hinges. It looks like the shape of the hinge right there. But maybe, I don't know, there's some other stuff here. Maybe someone lives right there. What's that? What's that? What are these? You know, we really need to spend a long time down there. You can see this Japanese uh, made by a white guy. Uh, I forgot the story, but you can see these rivers going through. This This is definitely north. Look at that. That's the ancient Lake Maghreb. This is north. This is the Tropic of Cancer right here, I think. This is not the Senegal River. Maybe it's maybe I'm wrong. Maybe if I looked at the whole thing, I would change my mind. I can't remember. Just, just some thumbnails I was creating. These are just some cool pictures I grabbed. This is a real alignment of the ancient Maghreb Sea along. Look at this. It goes right along that mountain ridge. The river flew right through here, and then it went all the way through right out there. I'm kind of proud of that. I did that. I didn't find that. I did that. This was in the early days when I first started. Yeah, do you think this would have been a successful thumbnail? That's, I'm just joking. I don't know what happened with that. So was it Poseidon's real house? I don't think so. I think these are signs of, uh, they copy the French fort and the uh, Spanish forts too with this point with no and then these things on the side. Some ancient town. Look at that. Ancient. And by the way, you notice the amphitheater. And those amphitheaters were supposed to power and push the sound into the temple nearby. Okay. Well, and those are the triangles. They're kind of at the south entrance of the Rashad structure. And you've got these, I don't know what that is. I've never really examined those. Covered with sand now. What is that? Is that a boulder? Is that a column? Probably not a boulder. I'm mean, probably not a column. They're so big. Those are like five meters wide. Okay. Flooding software shows the highest points around here. This is from Bright Insight. Uh, not where, not sure where that came from, but this is like something natural. But oh, this is bamboo. It's like petrified bamboo. Not sure where that picture was taken. And these are the near the the temple hinges that I talked about. You can see big stones and lined up stones. And stones don't just line up like that. That's a crescent. So that is also right there. So again, uh, this is north, and those are the mountains that Plato described on the north, and this is south, and that's the plain that Plato described. It has to be it. It has to be what Plato described. Just a random rectangle, or yeah, kind of like a, a yard. Here's another one. Those are really early on, so I barely remember where those are located. So this is that Bemini Road that goes on for miles and miles and miles near the tip of South, South America, I believe. Okay, that's it. Kind of finished here. Last minute, last, oh, now we get a map. Okay, now the maps start. I still have six people, so I'm gonna keep my promise. So this is the Senegal River, right? That's Cape Verde. And you can see one river below it that enters, and this is probably uh, Lake Senegal. So that's the one above it. And then you have this river going straight up. Going where? Going straight to the Rashad structure. Look at this. This is the Tropic of Cancer right here, this red line. And that is just north, two degrees. So if it reaches the Tropic of Cancer, then it passes the... I, but what I, you see here is somebody ignored this area because, and then you've got lakes going across. It's it's documenting stuff that came from the north as well. Look at this lake down here. The Senegal Lake had a river going all the way up to here. Well, 
I'd like to like to know how that, I mean, we're talking about 500 years ago, maybe 600, 700 years ago. So there could be big changes since then in the time of 12,600 years ago. I'm not trying to imply that those rivers were the same rivers. They're just similar rivers that existed in similar areas. Because the Sahara went from green to desert in a flash. Some people think it was a God-made thing, part of the big thing. Ancient river network discovered buried under Saharan sand. Mauritanian desert revealed a river stretching for more than 500 kilometers. We know that, right? When we see these 500-year-old maps and we still see rivers, we know that those rivers used to exist. A well near the center of Acropolis provided the city with fresh water. Okay, well, the maps come and then the maps go, don't they? I thought I had a bunch of maps all next to each other ready for good for you. I promise I won't do this again. I promise. I'm not going to do this again. This is probably my last maps revisited. The Eye of Horus. These are some uh, ancient people found. That looks like a sketch. These are mummies or mummified bodies. Antarctica. Uh, George Carlin, Sonchis of Saïs. He was the Egyptian priest who mentioned in Greek writings as uh, 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 Atlantis. What well, weird in Greek writings as relating the account of? Oh, okay. So he related the account of Atlantis to the Greeks. Five hundred ninety-four BC. That was before Plato was born. This guy died way before Plato was born. He talked to Plato's grandfather. Some weird dots in the middle of southern Mauritania. I think that if you're really interested in Plato, you can look him up. Okay, this is something found in North America. I'm done. I'm gonna. If you want to uh, get in touch with me, you can scan this. Pay me. I will do some work for you. $60 an hour. That's what I charge. I speak Chinese. See, this shows a very high aquifer productivity. I think that Graham, who is probably no longer here, showed this in his video. But there's a very high aquifer productivity, meaning liters per second, 20 meters. We still have water in this. This is this desert has water in these mountains, I guess. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm just trying to summarize the image. These are buses that I take sometimes. If, if you want to come to Taiwan, let me know, and I'll tell you all the secrets about getting around, what to do in Taipei, what to do outside of Taipei. I welcome you to contact me. And I really feel that we've already gone through this, right? These maps were supposed to start, and I think we're seeing repeats. So, yeah, we're seeing the repeat. So that's it. <clears throat> I just wanted to start this to do the repeats of, uh, sorry, what I meant to say was that I just did these videos to kind of go over the maps and see if there was any new things I could say about them. And this is kind of a more of an ancient delta. It says the island's on the way to Atlantis. So perhaps this is exactly what it looked like um, I do believe that there was also a river coming here, as I mentioned already. Stuck, huh? Are you the one? You're not. The, I just friended a guy from Bangkok last night, and we've been chatting. So this is a great. This is a great uh, picture here. You can learn a lot from this. They call it Cape Timiris here, but it also has another name, um, Miric. If you look at the old maps, you can see the name Cape Miric. Cape Blanco. This has changed too, right? Topography is shown here as well. So you can see that this is 600 meters. This is one of the tallest structures. <clears throat> yeah, this is cool. This is cool. Just like ancient Egypt. I'm sorry, just like the Nile right now is what I meant to say. But ancient Egypt had more of this happening too, I think. Then they shut that off. Okay, so I think that we're, we're done. We already looked at some of this stuff the other day, so I'm not going to repeat it. But 
um, I did make reference to this in this video, so I should remind you that the castle's there, and there's another thing there that we should check, and just at the center, which is just off the picture, came over here 13 kilometers exactly, and, and you're at the temple. The temple's located here and here, these two spots. Okay, that's it. I'm done. So have a nice evening. <clears throat> I was not drinking. Oh, no, last night I did a live stream and I was drinking. Okay, I'll just find a picture and I'll do some free thought, free talk before I log off and uh, just tell you that I was really depressed because I didn't get my $100 from YouTube. They froze it. I have a picture of that right here. Um, hold on, I'll show you. It's right here. And this never did it, huh? This never showed you the page. Well, that's irritating. I wanted you to see the page. Let me try it one more time. This is my Facebook page. I guess I'm leaving. So leave and then do it one more time. So while we're doing it one more time, I'll go to this page and I'll show you what YouTube did to me. It says right there, 9149. Well, it said that for a week now. It said that for a week. It's like, how can it be no growth in seven days? If I'm making a dollar a day, that should have surpassed 100. We'll send you your payment once it's reached the threshold. The threshold is $100. I was paid $559 last month. I was so happy, but it took two months to get that. It took two months to get that. So then suddenly it went from $44 a day down to zero. And I was all, yes, the castles are the temp. No, 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 no. Sorry. No, they're not. I've been calling the temples. Um, I've been calling them for, for a while. I've called them a temple, but I knew that they weren't temples. They're more of a hinge, like a stone hinge. And usually that correlates with the skyline and the stars and where certain things fall during certain solstices. But the castles were probably those forts. Yeah, and by the way, my bank account is 449. If you want to give me some money, let me give you the whole number. Yeah, so I was really mad because if you see here, April 21st is the deadline. They don't change that. If I miss that date, I don't get paid. So I didn't get paid. I'm really broke. They're not showing my page. I'm going to show you my page a different way. This is so irritating. Leave. And then I'll finish this video after some free talk without clicking. So I got a lot of... Uh, here's my pages. I've got a lot of pages in Facebook. I've got an anti-slavery page. I've got... um a few megalithic type pages, but the reason why I created this one was because I wanted it to be first in my list so I could share things very easily. Ancient Insight. It's this one, Ancient Insight. And I'll show you, you can go to the page, the name is Ancient Insight. So go facebook.com slash pages and then go to Ancient Insight. And you can check out all my... Um, if you're really bored at this point, because if you've watched my videos, then you've seen these structures that I've shown. But if you want to examine them yourself, then make sure to go there. This is so slow. See, this is how slow my connection is. I don't know. The castles aren't really private. They're right there. And I think you can just, I think you can walk there from the center. And I think that the next time Graham goes, and I can't wait to see what Josh says, I think that uh, they need to have some a camp set up and drive their Jeeps out there. It's pretty close to the center, but it depends. There's no need to stay in the center unless you're going to do some digging. So it's Ancient Insight. That's it. Facebook.com slash Ancient Insight. And you can even go to at Ancient Insight. You can search at Ancient Insight. Now, you have to know these are probably the oldest images anybody's ever seen. Because the light coming from these stars is 12 billion years old. 12 billion. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a little less. Uh, but it's, it's as old as the Big Bang. It's like a few million, a few billion years after the Big Bang. Okay, so you won't see much. You have to click on each link. I don't really care. I just want to make sure. I don't have a lot of likes on this page, so it, it doesn't. But I get them occasionally. People must be watching the video and seeing this. But just search at Ancient Insight, and you'll find this. And then scroll down, and you can find 
It's, it says, wait, I'm not going to look at this anymore. I'm done. So I don't, I'm sitting here looking at my Facebook. I don't want to look at that anymore. I'm going to put it on the map here and I'm going to talk to you. Cesar Leon. How do you pronounce your name? That's it. <clears throat> last minute to ask me any last minute questions. Last chance. I think that I've been on for long enough. I talk a lot, but I'm happy to do it because I am. I did want to go through those those pictures. If I find new pictures or new maps, I might do a new video. But at this time, I'm kind of done. So I'm really convinced the ancient lake of Senegal was here. You can see this little lake here, but the ancient Senegal lake, oh, I'm sorry, maybe I'm a little far up. It was about here, according to that thing. That was some, maybe some scientist did it. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe somebody just made it up. But according to that, this was a lake right here. And we already know that there's a river that went down here. And on this side, we know that there's a, there are signs of a river right here. And what's under the sand, we don't know. But we can find a canal that goes from here to here and then follows these ridges of mountains. I think that there was a river going around here or a canal. Somebody was pointing it out over here, that CFAP guy. He did a video on this. He doesn't believe that this was um, Atlantis. I don't know if it was Atlantis. I know that we have concentric circles there. I think they were the concentric circles that Plato described. And because of that, because of that ancient wisdom that came from, uh, so, uh, is it Solon de Sayi? So Solon was the Egypt priest, not Plato's grandfather, as I said earlier. I kind of forget all the names. But I do believe that there could have been waterways through here. Yeah, thank you so much. Have a nice evening. I'm glad you're crashing. We only have two people left, so I'm crashing too. I got to get up in four or five hours. So, And I know that I talk too soft because I don't want to wake up my neighbor. She'll bang on the wall. Have a great evening. Please give me your comments, what you want me to change, what you'd like to see more of. I, I do want to interact with my audience and especially share, share, share this video with your friends and family. Have a nice evening. And good night and goodbye. Just got to log off here. So still talking. Here it is. I'm going to go to this and I'm going to cancel here. Stop broadcast.